Florence, Italy has a long tradition of paper marbling. The skill was imported from Japan or Persia in the 1500s and was initially used as bookend papers and covers. The oldest marble paper shop in Florence is Giulio Giannini and Filio. Maria Giannini, the current owner, is a sixth generation master artist. Maria discussed the bookbinding and embossing process that helped launch the family business 150 years ago. The shop has over 1,000 different embossing stamps, some of which date back to the 14th century and are still in use today. Maria started working in the family shop when she was just 13. Over the years, she learned all about the ingredients and techniques that go into the art of paper marbling, used in greeting cards, stationery, bookend papers, and even wine labels. Making marbled paper begins with a specialized tray filled with a liquid called size. Size is a gelatinous mix of water and powdered carrageenan, which is a type of seaweed. The use of ox gall helps the paint to disperse across the surface, creating a kaleidoscope of different shapes and colors. Every marble paper is different. This made it useful in the fight against counterfeit money in the 1700s. There are many tools and techniques used in paper marbling. In this case, a comb is passed over the paint not once, but twice, creating a unique zigzagging pattern. A stylus is then used to create an eye-catching geometrical shape. A piece of paper is then delicately laid on top of the paint. The paint is quickly absorbed, and a few moments later, the paper is pulled from the tray and hung to dry. A wide assortment of marbled papers and embossed items are available in Maria's shop right across from the PT Palace in Florence. The store has been in the same place for generations. It's only a few minutes walk from the Ponte Vecchio and a couple of Italian gelato parlors featuring their own marble designs.